So you guys, this video that I'm making right now is a request video from I believe Reptile Man one zero 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 one. Um, it's a request video for a care video about Razorback musk turtles. So Razorback musk turtles need pretty shallow water. Mine has pretty deep water, but um, unlike most and musk and mud turtles. Um, razorback musks have adapted to deeper waters, so therefore they can live in deeper waters. But in deep waters, I would recommend having many plants so that they can climb up. Um, they don't really need a basking dock. I would suggest having one because they eventually will bask a little bit, but they don't bask a lot because they like to stay on the bottom of the tank. Um, have little platforms inside the tank, um, kind of like how my heater, my Razorback mask is always hiding up in that little corner between the heater and the basking dock. And sometimes he goes and hangs off the side, side of the filter so that way he can get some UV and just be like hanging there. Um, they prefer stinking pellets. Um, let me show you the type I have. These are good sinking pellets that I would recommend. They're called sinking carnivore pellets. That they have a big fish on it. Mine uh, really, really likes it. It's probably it's his main food source, you could say. Let me show you him eating it. There you go, sinking. Hey, do you see it? There's one right on your head. It's on your head. Shake it off so you can eat it. Huh? Do you not see the food on your head? Yeah, there you go. Now eat it. When handling it, I would be careful because they have a very strong jaw and it hurts when they bite. I've gotten bit a few times and it's not pretty because you start bleeding. Really. So when you see that one, then be careful because you can see that they're a little dangerous. Yeah, he really, really likes these. Also, the pink belly snappers, they like that thing you see. Oh, there's my upside down cat that's trying to steal his, trying to steal his razor back's food, huh? He always does that. He always comes and takes it right out of his mouth. So we have to put more in there. But yeah, that's really all there is to it. I would suggest getting a pretty strong filter because they're a very messy turtle. Like, turtles in general are very messy, but he's ultra messy. Keeps coming back for more. What is wrong with that catfish? There, he took more food. I hope he's happy and full so he doesn't take any more. But yeah, other than that, there's not much to it. It's mostly like any ordinary turtle. The water temperature, I would suggest, should be around 80 degrees. 75 to 80 degrees. Probably keep it in the higher, uh, lower 80s. And keep them in the lower 80s. And yeah, they're good. As babies, I would recommend putting it 85, so that way they can grow. Because when you, the warmer the water, the higher their metabolism gets, and that makes them grow much faster. So that way you can get them out of that early stage of, you know, like very delicate and all that stuff. And once they've grown to about two inches, that's when you can make the water a little lower, like 75, 80. But like for now, right now mine is around 83, 84. But yeah, that's really all you need. So, try not to get substrate because they tend to swallow it, but right now, mine is really small, like you can't swallow it. Um, I would suggest just putting bigger rocks and sometimes sand for them to dig under and sit in it. But other than that, that's it. So, say bye bye. Okay, bye.